You and your team may have seen Notion pages before and wondered, how can we build something like that? And to get there, we first need to start by understanding blocks, flexible pieces that you can assemble and reconfigure endlessly to create the perfect tool. Blocks are the basic unit of construction in Notion, so every element you see is a block. This is a heading block. This is a text block. This is an image block. And even the page itself is a block. In total, there are over 500 more to choose from, covering every kind of content you might want to include in your workspace. After you get familiar with using blocks, you'll be able to build and customize your pages exactly the way you'd like to. Let's start with the basics, and then we'll apply what we've learned to create a simple project hub. There's so many block types to choose from, and they fall into these main categories. The first is basic blocks. This includes text, headings, toggles, callouts, and pages themselves. Next, databases. These are collections of pages that you can organize and visualize in multiple ways, including a table, board, gallery, feed, or calendar. Media blocks include images, videos, code snippets, and file attachments. Embeds bring in relevant data from over 500 external apps like Google Drive, Figma, or GitHub. And lastly, dynamic blocks include buttons, table of contents, AI blocks, and mentions of specific dates, people, and pages from your workspace. These are often dynamic, meaning they can stay relevant by changing and updating along with your work. Now that we've covered the block types, let's cover how to build with them. First off, by simply typing text onto a page, you're already creating the most basic type of block, text. With text blocks, it's easy to format your content to make it more readable and visually appealing. Simply highlight any text to see the formatting menu, with options like bold, italic, underline, leaving comments, or asking AI to help. Pick from any of the ready-made prompts or type a custom one yourself. But what about the other types of blocks? The slash menu is the primary way to create new blocks. Type slash on any line and you'll see a new menu with all the various types of blocks we've mentioned. Type the block name to find it from the list, like heading, for example. Another access point to the same block menu is the plus icon, which appears in the left margin whenever you hover over a new line. Blocks are drag and drop, allowing you to easily move them to different locations on your page or create columns. This makes it simple to create customized page formats that visually reinforce the content that matters most. Beside any block is the six-dot menu. This menu also helps us duplicate or delete blocks, comment on them, or even turn blocks into other kinds of blocks. For example, you can upgrade your simple table to a database in just one click. One last helpful tip. On a new line, simply press the spacebar to instantly bring up Notion AI. From here, you can select from tons of click actions like making a table, writing a summary, or adding action items. Or you can even write a prompt and Notion AI will get to work using the context of your page. It's like having a writing assistant built into every block. For instance, let's ask Notion AI to improve our writing by adding an example. Now, let's work with these concepts by creating a simple project hub from scratch. The first thing our project needs is an overview, so the team knows what we're working on. Let's create a new header block with the slash menu and give it a title, overview. Then let's change the formatting to give this a red background from the six dot menu. Next, we'll add a simple bullet list with the goals for the project. It'd also be helpful to see who's involved in this project. So below, I'll create a table with team members by typing slash and table. Let me add the team and their responsibility areas. This project needs some tasks, right? Let's add a simple inline database below. Here, I'll add the name for the task, status, the person responsible, and the due date. And let's add an FAQ section. Using a toggle is a helpful way to hide information and make your page more clean. Now, it'd be helpful for us to have a collection of resources that the team can refer to over the course of the project. I'll use the app mentioned to link to page, in this case, a strategy document. Let me add some other helpful links as well. Now, let's make this project hub a bit more compact and easily readable with columns. 
I'll drag and drop these blocks to format the page. And that's already looking better. We can make our project hub even more helpful with a touch from Notion AI. At the top of the page, let's type slash followed by a callout to build a space for an executive summary. Let's enter space in the callout and ask Notion AI to provide a quick summary of the project for anyone who visits the page. With that, we have our simple project hub made from scratch. To recap, we've covered block types, the basics for working with blocks, and applying these concepts to our simple project hub. This flexible, block-based approach lets you build exactly what your team needs, no code required.